I finished the first book of the Night Angel trilogy, which is called The Way of Shadows. Man, that book is crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Brett Weeks has this weird ability to start a climax two thirds of the way in a book and sustain that climax until the end of the book. Oh, wow. Like he has this weird ability to do that. So this book climaxes, it, the climax starts like two thirds of the way of the book and it just has the crazy pacing from then to the end. Wow. Um, I, I'm really assassin fantasy is becoming one of my favorite genres in fantasy, like the sub genres. So I really enjoy so far any assassin fantasy that I can get my hands on. Um, this is definitely assassin fantasy. It's about a boy who who gets brought up in this really fucked up way. It's the the beginning of the book is really jarring because what happens to these kids is just super fucked up. But he becomes an adult and uh, plot happens. Um, it's I I found it really enjoyable, um, and I am continuing with the series. So I've, I finished that. How many and, series? And it's just a trilogy. Okay, and that's the that's the guy who wrote um the the, the, the light bringer series. series as well, or yeah, like two different series. Yeah, they're two different series, so they're they're not related as far as I can tell. Okay. Um, two, two way different ma- magic systems are su- super different. Like one is based on color, and I don't know what the Night Angel one is exactly yet. Oh, okay. I think it gets described a bit more in the second book, but I'll find out. You read um, um, some of Lightbringer, didn't you? I read the first two. So okay. I listened to the first book and I read the second book because my library doesn't have, only has the first book in audio. Okay. So um, I'm still getting through Malazan. Um, Malazan is really weird. It's like I'm in a part where they're in a completely different part of the world and it has completely different characters. It doesn't seem like this book jumps back and forth that much between the different parts of the world. It just sticks in that part of the world for like 100 pages and then goes to a different part of the world for the next 100 and you oh. may or may not be following the same characters. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just in this other part where there is a different part of the world and it's just like different characters. A little more um a little more like Lord of the Rings than Wheel of Time in terms of that. Um I don't know yet because they haven't jumped back to previous characters yet. Okay. It's almost as each chat and the chapters are long. Um, I don't know exactly how many pages they are, but typically you expect like most of these fantasy books with the shorter chapters, they're less than half hour reads. A lot of these Malazan chapters are like hour plus reads. Oh, okay. Um, it's hard for me to describe what's going on in Malazan right now, so I'm just going to put that on the back burner. I was told I'm not really going to understand until the end of the second book or something. Wow. (laughs) So I just have to soldier it out. Um, yep, getting through Lord of Chaos, of course. And I finished another Ernest Klein book, um, called Armada. Oh, okay. Um, Ernest Klein is the author of Ready Player One. Oh, I confused him for a second with uh, with Orson Scott Card, who wrote the Ender's Game. Ender's Game. Oh, no, no, no. He's definitely influenced by Orson Scott Card. Like, I even think there's a Ender's reference in this in this book. There's, 
Wow. He references a lot of 80s and nerdy shit, it looks like, in all of his writings. He's only had two books, but um, Armada is not in any way a sequel or prequel or anything to the other book. It's a completely different story. Um, the closest I can describe Armada to would be the movie The Last Starfighter. Um, that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure if I've seen it. Last Starfighter is a kid who's really good at a video game called The Last Starfighter. Gets recruited to fight in an actual space battle because he's good at the video game. I think I might have seen that when I was a kid. Yeah, so the basic plot to The Last Starfighter is the basic plot to this book. Um, and it does have, like... It reads a lot like um, Ready Player One, where they're throwing like 80s references at you, nerd references, gaming references. Uh, so there's like this massively multiplayer game that everybody plays. Well, there's two of them. One, it's called Armada, and it's it's a space battle simulator, and these kids just play the hell out of this the simulator, and it's. Uh, the main protagonist gets picked because he's fucking really good at it. And he goes off to battle aliens in space. There's a lot more to it, but I really don't want to spoil it. it. It's way more complex than that, but I do not want to spoil anything about the story. Cool. 